Thank you for joining us today, Professor Tim. So you put a YouTube video the other night that got some traction on this particular issue. Do you want to give us a bit of an intro well, on that? I, I, I just think there's many politicians who have decided that because they failed in politics, they can succeed in show business. And, uh, you, you know, there was an American, um, an American wag. In fact, various people have claimed to say this. I think Tom Hanks claimed to say this, that um, politics is just show business for ugly people. And this may be true. This may be true. But, uh, you know, uh, politics requires skills. Show business requires skills. And the people who are at the moment pushing into, <laughs> pushing from politics into show business don't seem to have had skills in politics and certainly don't seem to have skills in show business. We've got Matt Hancock messing around. Anybody can mess around on reality. I've done it. Um, I mean, but um, uh, you, you, you've now got Nadine Dorries, who can't read an auto cue and has had a makeover. A ma have you seen her makeover? I mean, she looks like a cross between Emma Willis she seems to have stolen Emma Willis's dress. I mean, you had a lovely, lovely, right. lo 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 lovely red sort of suit with with, with, with flared trousers, and um, and Steph McGovern. I put the two together, and then you've got the new the new Nadine Doris look. I mean, you know, a look isn't enough. <laughs> Quite complimentary. It, well, well, to Steph McGovern. I mean, you know. Well, anyway, uh, so, so 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 you've got that. It doesn't matter what sort of makeover you get if you don't have the content, mm. and if you if you're struggling to read the auto cue, then why are you doing this? Mm. She's only doing it, I think, because. Um, you know, she has access to Boris, who she can cuddle on camera. Mm. And my thing is, I have got no problem with people within media being great at their jobs or being crap at their jobs, but I have a problem with our politicians who are supposed to be serving politicians. Yes, and at the same time, they're taking the money from, 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 the, from, from the House of Commons and, and, and they're busy ratcheting up some sort of fees. And uh, Matt Hancock, you know... I, I'm, I'm, denote, I'm donating this money to dyslexia. Mm -hmm. Well, £10,000 is hardly a donation when you've got... 3%, so £320,000 from the total. And, and I think he donated 10000 yeah, Yes, exactly. So, so that's nothing to shout about, is 3 it? 3% of it. So the 97% went to Matt Hancock, which yeah. I think proves that charity doesn't just start at home. It, it ends there as well. So it, was, it wasn't for dyslexia he did this. It was for himself. It was. Of it was for himself. And, and, and actually, maybe it's a good thing because he's not going to get any other career, is he? This is his last knows, ditch attempt. He knows this as well. Certainly politics, I think, uh, that wave has, has gone for him yes. now. Yes. So he's seeing what he can do. And I think he... Did I read that he'd signed up to um, Strictly as well, or is that a nightmare that I had? I, I think that's a nightmare, but I mean, Disney. you know, but, what, what, who, who, Ed, Ed Balls did mm. that rather brilliantly, I think. I've never seen Strictly, you know. Um, but, but Ed Balls did it rather brilliantly. Uh, Sergeant, of course, did it beautifully. It is possible to and move Whittacombe. from... Anne Widdicombe. Anne <laughs> Widdicombe. Well, I, I, was on a, I was on a reality TV show uh, called The Circle, and, um, and, and during the show, I, I, we had these 24-hour cameras, and, we, and I had to find a euphemism for going to the loo. Anne Widdicombe was one of those euphemisms. <laughs> I, I, I must have a quick Widdicombe. Uh, Farage was the other one. Oh, but, perfect. Um, I'm so I might start using this myself. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's space. There's space for politicians in the media. Foot did it, Clegg did it. I... But I also do I have less of a problem. I think most people will have less of a problem with, you know, when they're not supposed to be serving a huge constituency. If, you know, for both of these Doris. If I, if and, I, and, if and I were part of Johnson. Boris's constituency or Doris's or Hancock's, I would be wanting to know why they aren't answering my letters. Absolutely. Well, Doris never did answer my letters. I mean, you, 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 she's supposed to be a minister. She's supposed to deal with things, but she, she delegates it all to Julia Lopez. Mm. Uh, and the same thing with, uh, with, with, with her successor, Michelle. They don't seem to do anything. It seems to, the, particularly the digital media, culture and sport ministry seems to be simply um, an, an opportunity to pass the buck. Mm. Um, what do you think, or do you have any concerns over actually them using the platform, which should be an entertainment platform. You know, it's not like someone who is impartial going on and talking about political matters. Mm -hmm. You've got, as per her new show this evening, Nadine Dory is interviewing Boris Johnson. Yes, and talking about our, uh, talk, talk, talking about us. I mean, there's no, there's no um, hint that this is impartial. This is, this is a party political broadcast mm. uh, put out by Talk TV. It, it is quite shameless in some ways, I, th mm. I, I, I think. And um, uh, How does this differ 
as well to the revolving door that we've got between our politicians and our press. So you look at, for example, um, you know, Robert, uh, Boris Johnson was at the Telegraph. Yes. And then he goes into politics. Well, well that, that, that I think is a reasonable route because the Telegraph hones his skills in communication. Politics is supposed to be about an ability to communicate. Boris is a great communicator. I mean, he's also, I, I, Alistair Campbell says very firmly that he's a liar today, but Rory Stewart says he's a liar, so I don't suppose I even need to add the word allegedly. But as a storyteller, he's a great storyteller. I don't know whether uh, Nadine Doris is the same great storyteller. I know she has a lot of books in her name, but you, when you look at her... I think you should have a look at some of these books. There. Well, I, I've, I've yeah, read I them. I've read them. They're all on my shelf. You've I've read, read them. them. I have read them. I've, I, I've gone through them. I think I've got to do my job. But it's as if it's another person talking or another person writing. They bear no... no the, you, you, when you compare her tweets with, her, with the stuff she puts out in these mm. books, it's as if it's somebody else writing. It's extraordinary. Mm, I wonder if there is. Although I've read some of the excerpts, which are very uh, sexually explicit. <laughs> well, do, 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 do you think we could say the same thing about the hug with which she greets? But, no, I, we shouldn't. In her, we shouldn't. In her dreams. <laughs> that would in make her a dreams. Day. Would in make her dreams. Day. Well, I, I'm sure those dreams are very entertaining. <laughs> but, but you know, I, I, I think, I think she. I, I, I think she's a, she's an easy an easy sell for a for a TV company that wants to get hold of Boris and wants to get Boris to go on record. And I don't think Boris says anything of substance except what does he say? He says um, uh, he, he he says that he wants to he 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 wants a, he wants a comeback. I think um, you know he he wants to see himself as the new Churchill, mm. just as Mrs May and just as Liz Truss wanted to see themselves as the new Thatcher. But none of them have really done the work and. And, and, and why should we have copycat MPs who can't do the job properly? What we want is somebody who has the confidence and the, um, uh, and the charisma to be the new whatever it is. But I'm, I'm not suggesting the they new... They haven't soon. had an original thought. There hasn't for, been an original for thought knows in how long. Yes, exactly. Even policies yeah. that they're pumping out now were back from like David Cameron's time in government, for example. So don't expect anything original. They're trying to rehash <laughs> Maggie Thatcher from her, from her grave. But, but they, get, they get Margaret Thatcher wrong every time. They think that Margaret Thatcher was this person who was inflexible. If you compare what Margaret Thatcher planned um, and, and, and what she actually delivered, there's, there's a great difference. She clearly listened mm -hmm. in some ways, despite the, um, uh, the, the, the stories which, um, we, we, which the media put out. Beca yeah. But because of those stories, Thatcher didn't need... To, Thatcher, to, to, Thatcher to establish. was pro-EU. Yes, but she didn't Thatcher need to establish that she was tough because that's what everyone wasn't said. She trying to be someone else. Thatcher also came in, and as soon as she came into office, I think she actually gave public sector workers a pay rise. Oh, she rise. did indeed. She did indeed. Um, and, 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 and she made it very clear that that wasn't the, 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 the strike she was, she was going to pick a fight with. Mm. That isn't winnable. And Sunak has, uh, has got a serious problem, but we're not talking about that, are no, we? No, we're not. We digress. <laughs> but look, I think... Do you know what I think Talk TV has I've actually... Um, it does seem quite quite clever here because I'm going to well watch it purely because I think oh, absolutely. Doris is car crash TV, oh, as is John. Well, she is, <laughs> and then Johnson. Johnson's like. Did you see her first attempt where she couldn't read the I auto cue? And, yes, I, well, it was priceless and exactly. wonderful. They know what they're wonderful. doing there at Talk TV. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Today. Thank you Thank so much, Marina. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and on Twitter. And don't forget to look out for more from Byline TV.